Hey there, veteran guardians and new light players. This is Delta One One Five bringing you guys a new Destiny Two video. Today is week seven of season eighteen, season of plunder, and we're going to continue the steps for the sales of the ship stealer quest. So, without further ado, let's go and start it up. Glad I caught you, Guardian. I didn't want you setting off after Aramis without a little warning first. What's that look? You don't survive as long as me without being able to smell trouble. And honestly, kid, you stink of it. You've been cutting a swath through those pirates out there, but don't get complacent. Watch your opponent, but watch your back, too. You're going after chunks of a dead disciple of the witness, and you've almost got them all. That's some serious juju. The stakes are high. That's when folks tend to get... unpredictable. Alright. Feel free to pause the video if you want to read this dialogue that the Drifter had spoken to us. But I'm not gonna lie, because the more pieces of the the dead disciple we've been collecting, the more our enemies are gonna be unpredictable. So I wonder what crazy shenanigans our enemies are gonna have in store for us. But anyways, let's go and continue. What's our next step? Obviously it's gonna be, of course, an expedition. And what else? Season plunder? Oh, it's just combatants, okay. There we go. There should be all of them. Yep, the hull's gone. Loot. The crew. Dig up the treasure. In the presence of a machine spawn. Where is your pride, Mizrax? Pride is a sickness that okay. killed the younger Mizrax. We need to head back to orbit and check our next step. So, we're going to a pirate hideout. Um, but to clarify my previous step, which was this one, uh, you need a season of plunder weapon. Luckily for me, I have the season of plunder sidearm, which is called Brigand's Law. If you get this one, or any other seasonal of the plunder weapon, you get two kills pretty much so if you kill one person it counts as two points so this should be pretty easy when you're doing a expedition or a catch crash so back to the objective at hand our next step is to find etherix the scrap worker Ooh, that's an interesting title all right guys we made it to the pirate hideout. Is that ours? Yep, yeah, that's ours. Okay, let's go. Guardian, you face an Alex skilled in scrap working. Her name is Ethix. Oh, Ethix. I have engaged with her before. I doubt her tactics have changed. She hides behind traps and shanks and believes herself clever. She will not face you if she has a choice. Leave her none. Okay, good to know. I wonder what kind of traps. Oh, we're back at this lost sector again. I forgot what it was called. Wolf Ship's Turbine. That's what it was. For those who don't know, it was a very old lost sector back in the Tangled Shore. Bungie had used that lost sector and remade it into this one. And keep in mind, we've done this before, but I lost count of which week it was. I think it was the week when... Drifter and Spider were trying to figure out what type of uh, enemy force was at play, henceforth the Hive. So, let's see what we can do. I'm gonna blow them up. Ha! Huh. Easy. Or is it? Oh, Shanks. Ha! 
Ooh, they brought code guard. What's a code guard? All right, exploding shanks, regular shanks. Oh, bypass code. Okay, these shanks are coming nonstop. Oh, that's another one. Oh, I get it. We're supposed to kill three large shanks so we can get a bypass code. Okay. There should be one more. Maybe after this. Yep, there it is. Oh, I put it at the bad spot. But lucky for me, I'm a warlock. I can do anything. Oh, now sniper shanks are in the mix. Is that all of them? Oh. Okay. Ah. They added black armory systems to it too. Nice. Oh, more lasers. Good thing I didn't walk through. <laughs> oh, you son of a gun. You beat them out. I'm gonna shoot those. Ha. Right. Where is she? Remove her defenses and oh. end her life. Is that... Is that the boss? Oh! Okay. I thought for a minute it almost looked like Ido. <laughs> and I was like, no, Ido, why are you the enemy? But no, it's just a regular invisible vandal. I forgot what they were called, but they're like a different variant of a vandal. Three health bars. Not a problem. That should be the last barrier. Come on out. And die. Aha! Alright. Now, let's get rid of the shanks. And there we go. Nice. Okay. Now the boss is killed. Let's grab the relic. The old crews fear you. Fear us. They know they cannot stand in our way. <laughs> Looks like Captain Kells found his inner pirate again. Perhaps it is what I am. And Aramis speaks the truth. Hey, now, I didn't say that. What's that Ido said to me? Aramis will fight forever to get rid of her shame. Maybe you did that for a while, too. But then you made a safe place for the Elixni. That's what Aramis wants, and she'll never get there. What we do now matters more than who we were. The Drifter speaks kind truths. Rizrax thanks you. That was a good speech, Drifter. Good speech. Alright guys, we're at the Elixir Quarter, and why? Because our next step is to talk to Spider. I don't know what he wants, it could be the Engrams or it could be something else. Let's go and find out. Alright. What do you want, Spider? Good of you to visit, Captain. Seems like only yesterday I loaned you my ship. And now you're known across the system. Flashy. Not my style. It's safer in the shadows. I learned that long ago. From a handsome young fellow named Rakis. He served the old crews for a time. Got double-crossed. Spent the rest of his life running. Eventually, someone claimed the bounty on poor Arrakis. 
He called himself Spider. <laughs> Savvy? Cast in the past, bought a future. Walked away, reborn, and never looked back. Like you guardians do. Like my dear boy Crow. Like Mishrax. Pretending his old life never happened. Oh, he's changed a bit over the years. But the old fury is still inside him. Somewhere. It's best he not forget that. Okay, Spider talked about his past. Didn't know he was, uh, he served the old crews. No wonder he knows that much. But anyways, feel free to pause the video if you want to read this entire dialogue that Spider has spoken to us. But for now, I'm going to accept this. And of course, it's going to be another set of engrams. Alright, I'm going to take the middle. What's the middle going to offer me? I wonder. Yeah! A scout rifle! Let's go! And it's deep sighted too, thank you. Let's see what Spider says. Spider barely reacts as you pulled a powerful reward from the engrams. Lucky draw, Guardian, he shrugs. Go introduce it to some pirates. I'll send up a flare when I get new engrams in. He turns away and busies himself with his supplies. It's strange, Guardian, says Ido's voice over the radio. I have no energy surges to report. My instruments are working perfectly, but there was no recent interference attempted from the ether tank. I am unwilling to speculate as to why, but I am pleased things appear to have resolved. I guess his little game is finally over. Haha. <laughs> oh. And this week's uh, steps is finally finished. Alright guys, we're back at the helm and the reason why is after we completed this week's uh, steps, we can now return the seventh relic here. I think there's going to be a transmission, so I'm going to mute my mic. I've searched for information on Nezarek and the Cryptarchy's records, but most of the primary sources from that era were destroyed. What we know from second-hand accounts is that Nezarek led the Witnesses' first assault on Earth, or as humans call it, the Collapse. After the Great Machine repelled the attack, Nezarek's pyramid crash-landed on your moon. Beyond that, the sources are vague. They hint at a process for harnessing the Relic's power, but give no instructions. If we could replicate this ancient methodology, there's no telling what we might accomplish. Alright, before I end this video, there's a message that always appears every weekly reset, so I'm going to beat my mic and play the message. Ido of the House of Light, scribe log Zeta 78D. At this point in the Guardian's adventures, we have had contact with a great many pirates. Each crew has a unique composition and pledges loyalty to the most powerful among their numbers. They fight for whomever promises them the most power, or the most glimmer. They adopt whatever code of honor befits them, and concern themselves with little beyond the present. A friend told me that these pirates are not as free as they seem, that their lives are fueled by desperation more than their own desires. But there is still the call of the open stars. These pirates sought to possess the relics of Nezarek. What else might they hold? Scribe Ido. Aramis Kel? I greet you in the light. You are young and honor the old ways. So I will speak gently. You say there are paths that never end. But these are also paths you cannot turn away from. Mizrax thinks he can. He is wrong. He and I will always be what we are. But we are not something you would wish to become. I remember the whirlwind. And we are running from it. We are running from that pain. And will be forever. You do not want this life. Aramis. Do not stand in my way. If we meet again, 
I will be the last thing you see. You and that hypocrite you call a father. And that's the end of the video, ladies and gentlemen. We are so close to the season finale as we are down to six more steps for the sales of the Ship Stealer quest. I can't wait if it's going to be ending the season or is it going to be a cliffhanger? Who knows? But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, and check out my YouTube channel for the latest Destiny 2 and other gaming content. And also, if you want to get notified and for extra content, check out my Twitter, which the link will be down in the description box below. That is all, my fellow Guardians. This is Delta115, signing out.